Here we have a typical GCSE exam question on utility bills. Now the meter readings, where do they come from? Let's explore that first. Here I have the meter that's in my house for electricity and I can check the reading by pressing the button here and it will tell me that I've got 23,878.4 units used. So inside here is where the gas meter is. Just open it up. And just like the electricity, if I press the button, it will tell me how many units of gas I've used. And here it says 7,640. Now I'm gonna show you three steps to success to answer these GCSE questions. Step one. The first thing you want to do is find out how many units, in this case of electricity, have been used. So here I want to find the difference between 35283 and 33436. I can use a calculator to do this. So according to this, Mr. and Mrs. Davis have used 1,847 units. Now I'm ready for step two. For step two, I'm going to find the cost of these units in pounds. Now this is really important. You don't get bills in pence. So we take the number of units used, 1,847, and multiply it by the cost of those units. In this case, 14.08 pence. When I put that in the calculator, 1847 multiplied by 14.08, I get quite a large number, 2600576. I'm just going to round that to a six because when I change this into pounds, my decimal place goes here. So now I know the cost of the units and I've turned it from pence to pounds. And this number makes sense. Now, once I've got this cost in pounds, I'm ready for step three. In step three, I'm going to add on any additional costs. Here, we've got a service charge and a VAT at 5%. First thing I'm going to do is add on the service charge. Now I'm going to find 5% of £282.40 and add it on. So whatever method you've got for using a calculator to find 5%, this is the time to use it. I'm going to use the percent button on the calculator, which is just here above the answer button. So I go 5, shift, ands to get the percent, multiplied by £282.40. Forty, And that will tell me that 5% is £14.12. And remember what you type in the calculator, you write down. And now to find the total cost of the bill, I add these two amounts together. So here I have a total bill of £296.52. Those are the three steps to success for answering questions on utility bills.